Hey guys, it's Shweta and welcome back to Coffee Curves. So if you're new here, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of my future uploads. So the past few days I've been working on this DIY lamp from scratch and it was really tricky to figure out the shade part of it but then I finally managed to do that and I have a really easy method for you guys to follow. So the special thing about this lamp is that it can be used in many different ways. So do stay till the end of the video where I'm going to show you how to use the same lamp in five different ways. Also, this lamp is hardly going to cost you any money because it is mostly made out of recycled materials, which we generally tend to throw away. Now, without any further ado, let's get on to the video. For the base of the lamp, you will need a glass bottle of any shape and size and also some gift tissue papers along with some other materials which I will tell you as the video goes along. To start with, I am roughly measuring the height of the bottle and then I will tear the paper by hand into bigger chunks. You could even tear these into smaller pieces, it totally depends on what you prefer. Since I have a really big bottle to cover, it would be faster to go for bigger pieces and also I wanted minimum joints, that's why I am tearing it into bigger sizes. Although if you have a smaller bottle, it would be better to tear it into smaller pieces so that way it would be easier to work with. Also make sure not to have any straight edges except for the bottom side as they don't give a very good finish to it. As you can see, I have torn the paper and arranged it in exactly the same way that I tore it so I will not have to think too much while pasting it and I will have minimum joints. Next, I am using a glossy finished Mod Podge for sticking the tissue paper onto the glass. You can also use a mixture of ferricol and water. I will start by applying one coat of Mod Podge over the glass bottle and then place the gift tissue paper over it and smooth it out with your fingers making sure there are not many wrinkles formed. Now apply another coat of Mod Podge over the gift tissue paper to seal it up. Cover up the rest of the bottle in the same way. And now the base of our lamp is ready, let's move on to the lampshade. For the lampshade, you will need any old plastic box, either circular or squarish in shape. Choose a size that is proportionate to your lamp base. Next I am taking an LED bulb fixed to a holder and I will mark the circular opening that I will cut out for the holder to pass through. Heat a knife and use that to make your cutouts. So I made two cutouts, one for the holder and another one for the wire to pass through. Now next, measure and cut out two wooden sticks and make sure they are a little bit extra in length so that they have a tight fit inside the box. Now take a plastic cap from any box of roughly this size and mark slits for the wooden sticks to sit into it. And again, use a heated knife to make four cuts into the plastic cap. And use a glue gun to stick the sticks together. And now fix it back into the box.
Next I'm going to cover my plastic box with a white textured paper and mark the height that you want for your lampshade and cut it out. For this size of lampshade, I have taken two sheets of 12 by 12 inches, cut it to a height of 9 inches and I am going to tape it up with scotch tape. Since my box already has a rim around it, I do not need too much scotch tape to stick the paper to the box. It is mostly sitting on the rim itself and I think most of the boxes that you find generally have this kind of a rim around it. Now to cover the edge, I am going to use this lace and stick it with the help of some Mod Podge or glue. I am sealing the lace with another layer of Mod Podge. This step is completely optional. Now for the final step, I am going to glue the glass bottle cap to the plastic cap. The reason for doing this is so that I can use this in different ways which I will show you in just a moment. So let's go and see what those 5 ways are. So the first way in which you can use this is as a deco piece or as a flower vase. You can also go ahead and add some fairy lights inside the vase and it gives the vase a completely different look. this option I am going to use it as a complete table lamp and to do that you will have to fix the shade that we made onto the base by closing the cap of the glass bottle. Now the wood and the plastic cap arrangement that we made for the shade is required only for this table lamp. For option 3, 4 and 5 you don't need to make this. Another way of using this is where I'm going to use only the top shade part as a standalone table lamp. So the fourth option is where you can change only the top paper covering anytime you want a fresh new look matching with your decor and just by replacing the paper it can make it look like a new lamp. And for the final option, you can hang the same shade from the ceiling as a pendant lamp.
so guys that's it for this video i'm absolutely in love with this lamp and i really loved how it turned out and that i can use it in so many different ways let me know what you all think and which one of these was your favorite in the comment section below if you do try this lamp idea do share a picture and tag me on instagram and facebook and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel coffee curves and hit the bell icon to be notified of my future uploads see you all soon in my next video until then bye bye